it's your girl Gentry. Hey, and welcome to the third trimester. We're here. So, hubby went and got us Panera. He's eating standing up. I don't know why. But um, I got green tea. Adding, been drinking this. Can you see this? This red raspberry leaf organic tea. Um, supposed to help with not really inducing labor, but like faster labor. So. I've been drinking it, child, just to try to, I don't know, help with any way possible. So I just added that to my green tea for this delicious bagel that I'm about to eat for breakfast. So this third trimester, I've definitely been able to eat. Um, mm. So I'm glad that it balanced it out when we've been sick the first trimester because if I would have been eating the way I'm eating now, I'll be a whole bowl of fish. Um, one weird thing that's really be came back strong that I never stopped taking my nausea medicine, but I've been feeling more nauseated lately. I even had a I had an episode where I threw up twice last week, so I don't know what that's about, but I don't know. I told the doctor, and they're like, "It's hormones. Everything's normal when you go to the doctor." Everything is normal. Oh, I don't, I don't feel good. I'm swelling. Oh, that's normal. That's normal. That's the, everything they're gonna tell you every time. So, whatever. So I've just been taking my nausea medicine still, and um, I don't know, thugging through it. Uh, last night we really thought we were gonna have to go to the ho the hospital because I don't know what was going on, but she was like moving, and then it was causing pressure and pain, and it was it was getting wild. So. I like turned over, set up just to make sure and eventually she calmed down and the pain calmed down. So, but I'm definitely feeling Braxton Hicks at this point. Didn't know what they were feeling like at first, but now I think I can recognize them pretty well. So I hope that's a sign that she's coming in a day now because I just don't feel like we need another two weeks of this. Sis, we can just come on out, come out of play. It's nice outside. I think it's in the like 80s, 70s. It's a beautiful day outside so yeah well if you guys haven't had the cinnamon crunch bagel from Panera it is amazing sidebar you gotta know I have to show you my food you see that like cinnamon crunchy stuff on there Ugh, it's like pout on the bottom of it and then you get this honey walnut cream cheese bomb bomb mm-hmm but yeah I'm tired um I'm getting stretch marks by the day I've been wearing creams from day one so ladies it truly is genetic from day one I've been moisturizing my stomach twice a day with the Palmer's stretch mark cream Palmer's cocoa butter and I have bio oil I mix them all because I was really trying to avoid getting stretch marks and it worked all the way until maybe two months ago and a couple will start popping up and now they're just destroying my life. They're literally destroying my life. So I don't know what to tell. I just, I try not to get depressed about it. Um, but it is a little discouraging because it's just like, oh my God, I'm really getting, my body's getting ruined. That's what I feel like, if I'm being honest, but everybody said it's worth it in the end, and I'm sure it will be, but it's a little tough, guys. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Mm. Maybe I'll show you, and maybe you'll say it's not that bad, but I don't know. Um, all right, let me finish this bagel, and then we're gonna do some stuff in the baby room. I gotta wash some clothes, put her sheets on her bed and her bassinet, make the guest bed for when um, my mom and his mom and my sisters come. What else do we need to do? Well, our washer broke on Saturday, so we're catching up on laundry. Today's Memorial Day, so we're off, um, which is great because we needed this extra day to get crap done. And I'm hoping like she's gonna make a debut, her debut this week because I just don't wanna go the whole 40 weeks that just it sounds like torture okay let me finish my breakfast okay guys so after i made that last little clip of me eating i got the worst 
um, contraction. Like, I haven't had one. Well, I had one last night that was like that, but legit was like on my knees. Came out of nowhere. Um, still getting used to these Braxton Hicks because it's not something that happened up until a couple of days ago. So, but in between that, I've been doing laundry. Um, show you the baby's room. We're gonna get that organized, well, more organized. My friends who came over and helped get it done, but I'm gonna put the sheets and stuff and get the bed made because that really scared me. I was like, oh crap, like, okay. Stop playing, Gentry. Get everything done because we're, we're, we're days away from showdown. So let me show you. All right, so here is the room. As you see, there is stuff everywhere still. Not too much stuff, but just little things that need to be put away. This comforter is coming off. This quilt set needs to go on. Um, I have to make the baby bed and we have this floating wall shelf that needs to be put up so we can put a little decorations. Um, the decoration my French man is gonna help me come and put on the walls and just little stuff like that. So over here, some more decorations in the diaper genie. So we're just gonna go ahead and um, get some of this stuff done really quickly. Scott, are you gonna help me? No. You said no? Mm -mm. Why? Why? Why won't you, you're not gonna help me? Oh yeah. I can't even see you. I see you. Lighting. So, gonna do that now. So we got a lot done, didn't take us long. So a little hamper up, cleared that out, her bassinet. Got the bed made, her bed's made. We still have to put up this floating shelf, get rid of this bucket, put some stuff on there, hang the wall decor. Um, this bass, 
what is this called a um crib came with a changing pad but we also got this one so she doesn't roll so we'll stick that on top of here and yeah so i feel a lot better her diaper bag is ready we're good to go all right you ready yes yes how ready on a scale of one to ten yeah ten eleven twelve she's gonna have you wrapped around her finger that's fine she's my baby she can do that you want to tell them about last night from your perspective well uh I had just got finished playing the game, right? And it was what time? That don't matter. Okay. Um, and so she, I'm getting everything, you know, using the restroom before I go to bed. And then um, next thing I know, I hear Gentry going, mm. <laughs> You do sound like that. And then I'm looking at her and she's like, <sighs> and she's breathing heavy. And then she says, Scott, come here. Put your hand right here. And the reason she said tell me to put my hand right there is because, you know, Tori, she, she, um, she calms down when I put my hand there. So, you know, I was just trying to, you know, soothe the situation. And then she calmed down a little bit. Then I went to get in the bed. And then all of a sudden, I guess she turns up a little bit more. Because, you know, she probably missed dad's, you know, touch or whatever. Whatever. So, um, then, uh, for some reason, just something came over me like, it's time. <laughs> and so she sat up for like four five minutes yeah because at this point she was moving but i was also like in pain so i was just like okay what's going on this is new this is new to me so then she sat up and instantly i said i was in daddy mode like let's go what you want to do let's go tori you coming right now let's go right now i was like let's go but. And I was thinking about the laundry that hadn't been done because our washer broke on Saturday. So I was like, um, I'm gonna need you to wait, sis, until I can get this laundry done. The weird things you think about. So our washer and dryer was delivered this morning, but all I could think about was like, if you come right now, the laundry won't get done and it's gonna sit there until we get out of the hospital. So I was like, let's go, Tori, it's time, let's go. And she ended up not coming, so. It took me about an hour for my heart rate to calm down and for me to calm down because I was I was lit. I was ready to go. What about today? What's that? When I was in pain. Oh, when you was in pain today? You're a little bit more calmer because it was daytime? No, I wasn't a little bit more calmer. You just, there's nothing I can do. So you yeah, kind of give me a gauge. I have hold, to... on, hold on, wait, you take... uh, you give me You give me a gauge me. Mm -hmm. on your pain level and mm -hmm. your pain tolerance. So I just kind of sit and don't make any sudden moves until you give me the clear go ahead so yeah like, you don't want me to touch you there's nothing i, I can I'm just like give me a second yeah so i just i kind of i just sit there and feel the room and see how you're feeling and if it's you know if you give me the green light like all right let's go you know i'm i'm grabbing everything and we gone but today was it was a little bit more because i knew maybe what was potentially what was going on so it was kind of gave me like a step by step like hey yeah i'm good I was like, we got to get crap done today because the baby bag still wasn't packed and the room still That was needed on her list. Everything on my list is done. Everything on my list is done. Been done. Anyways, the room still had its final touches that need to be done. Um, so I was just like, I need to get that done today because tomorrow, once again, it starts the work week. Um... I was hoping that I would have gave labor, had labor, went in labor before I had to go back to work. But that didn't happen as of now. As of 3.57, May 31st, it has not happened. Let me tell y'all something, right? Tori has the, the, um, the calmness of her father. So she gonna come when she feel like coming. Okay, well. That's kind of how we do. Yeah, okay. So, well, she needs to feel like coming soon. Right. We don't move till we feel like moving. So mm -hmm. I get it, but to all we can't be. We need to come on. Yeah, we for sure need to come on because that's not gonna work for you me. You gonna come on my your auntie birthday? She ain't gonna like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that put a fire under my butt to get crap done. We got laundry done today, which I, I, I'm soothing. If she came right now, I would be fine because the laundry's done. Um, I know it's insane, but. Yeah, um, I'm ready to eat. 
show y'all what we eating you know, on a little bit. Do you see them fired up on the grill? It's a nice little day for a barbecue, so it should be fun. It's like four o'clock at this point. After I ate breakfast at Bagel this morning though, like, I don't know what happened, but I've been snacking ever since then because I felt terrible for a whole second. Like I felt nauseous and then I felt like, I, then I just had this pain, so I don't know, but it's no joke y'all people don't talk about like what they don't talk about is just the anticipation look at this my neck is all whatever they don't talk about the anticipation of you going into labor like there's like a certain level of anxiety that you have until you go into labor because with every little move you don't know what's going on so that's probably just like the tipping point like every time you call somebody they're just like are you good like yeah i'm just saying what's up you know it's any day now it's gonna be okay i'm heading to the hospital so but it's starting to get hot so i'm i'm i'm, I'm ready i'm ready he's ready yeah. I'm already acting like a tired dad so but yeah guys i'll turn the camera back on when we get to shamanda's house the fat girl in me ate before I can get a picture of my plate, but let me just show you what I was eating on. I have some grilled asparagus. Oh, I'm out of breath. Ribs. Nom, 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 nom. Macaroni and cheese. Chicken wings. Look at those. Those are beautiful. Mm. Got hamburgers and sausages. Grilled salmon, <sighs> fried ribs, mm. and I ate it all. It's all in my stomach. And then here's dessert. This is a pineapple cream pie, and she's about to open up these babies here. Oh my god! Mm. Oh. <laughs> yes. Let me open up the top for you. Okay. Have you guys even ever seen anything so delicious looking? <laughs> How do you get it out? Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. Hold on. So greedy. Look at that. You see it? Why you won't focus? Focus. Go in the light. Go in the light. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. oh, look at that. Mm. Wow. It's a beauty. Mm -hmm. 